and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to catch up on the end of the season of 2035-2036. I actually forgot to press record and then I didn't realise and I moved on. Um, so so here we, here we go, I'm going to try and catch up on all the things I forgot to mention. Well, that I forgot to record um, at the end of the last season. I actually started a new season already, but we'll we'll try and do a snapshot of what happened at the end of the last season. So if you go back to the schedule, go back. Uh, I'm already there. Um, so we we actually did quite well towards the end of the season. We ended up getting to the final of the FA Cup and of the Europa League. Um, so the journey to that, so we, we we passed the group stage in second, the league stage in second. Then we went through the round of 16. Uh, we run a, uh, against Realist Palace by a small margin, two goals. And then again uh, against Hertha, Hertha. And then we went through Monaco. We lost the second leg, but we had enough goals in the first leg to get us through. And then in the final, we um, won against Arsenal 2-0. Uh, so, Aguilar, yeah, just trying to see if anyone stands out, but not really. Uh, and then for the, um, for the um, uh, FA Cup, we won against Arsenal in the quarterfinal, Norwich in the semi, by quite a big margin. And then we uh, drew penalties uh, in the final in Man City, but won. Sorry, we drew the match, but won on penalties. We had a lot of misses in the panel, um, p- penalty shootout from Man City, with three Man, uh, Man City players um, missing their penalties. And then at the start of the season, we already won something. So we, um, because we won the. I guess the Europa League, I guess. We got sent to the um, Europe and South America Club Challenge, I think that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, and we won 5-1 to one against the Fencer. And you can see the goals there. Um, I've already obviously brought the new players into club, but I'm not going to spoil that yet. So, um, what I do want to do is go back to last year and look at the player stats, play overview. Oh, I can't do that last year. Okay. Awards and uh, the debt records of last winners. Award winners. Uh, I want to show you goal to see um goal score of the season. Where is that? Double scorer. So last year we lost by one goal. So um, Yaman was leading the uh, goal scoring sheet the entire season, but because he had a drop in form towards the end of the season, maybe the last few weeks, uh, then he missed out to Damien. Uh, on the very last match, he didn't score, and uh, Debian did. So, um, so we lost that by a very small margin. We did get some players nominated for. If I go back again, da da da. Uh, Europa League. If look, look at the Europa League, and we look at the, uh, I think, team of the season. Is there a way to do that? Squad of the season. We had two players there, Nolan and um, Emerson. In that, the rest of it was pretty much Arsenal, one Monaco player. I don't think that happened for the league. No, we didn't get any players on the team of the league. Well, we only finished seventh, so so it's okay. We actually were lingering ninth, and then the last few weeks we managed to get at seventh. Which is good. Um, ta, 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 which means this year we're gonna play again. Uh, actually, wait, because we won the Europa League, somehow we get qualification straight into the league phase of Champions League. 
And also, because we won Europa League, we get to play the Super Cup against um, Real Madrid this year. So we have loads and loads of competitions this year to go through, uh, which is fantastic. And um, what, else, what else have we got? We got um, a signing of the season last year, which was our striker, Yaman, obviously. Um, and as far as um, any news, we, we, we've got a new um, stadium. As promised. Sorry, I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm a little bit start and stop. So we've got a new stadium being built. It's not going to be called after me, but it's it's, it's okay. It's going to be called. Excuse me. It's going to be called the Hereford Stadium. It's going to be finished in about two years' time. Um. So hopefully, uh, we'll get to see that still in this series. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Finance wise, we're doing okay. Obviously, we received a bunch of money from you know, sponsorship gone up a little bit, season tickets have gone up a little bit. Uh, obviously, we sold some players already, but I'll tell you about that in the next episode. TV revenue that hasn't started yet, that's mainly it. Season tickets have gone up and sponsorship. We obviously already spent a bunch of money. Not as much as last year, granted. Um, but uh, that is good. And we took a second loan to build that stadium as well. So that um, that will be paid off over the years. Which is a bit, it's a bit tough really. Spending that that much money uh, on a stadium, but it needs it needs to be. Um, you know, with all the changes that we made, and I'll show you all these new players in the next episode. We stayed pretty co cohesive still, uh, so no major drawback from bringing in new players into the squad. They'll rebuild their relationships as the year goes on. But, um, I d well, I am waiting for one player to arrive, but um, but we're nearly there. Staff-wise, I already renewed most of the staff. Actually, I need to finish this tonight. So I need to look at the coaches now, mainly. I do have a few other... If you look at transfers and I scroll down, there's no staff. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I need to look at this. Actually, in fact, we can probably look for a few of these. So I need a senior sp sport, uh, sports scientist, and there's one sports scientist. A couple of performance analysts. So, stuff search. Already on sports science. Senior. I always go for free agents if I can. There's one there. Chris Davis approach. He's expensive, but it's okay. And then let's remove that and look for an under 21s. And we're just going to renew our guys. So basically, I just go for whoever has the highest attribute. And I think it was performance analysts for under 18s, wasn't it? Yeah. Two performance analysts for under 18s. And then the coaching team, I do separately because I need to look at. Oops. I need to look at the um, training for that. Make sure I spread out a good balance of training across all teams. As I say, because they're analysts, they probably need to be high on analysis, right? So let's renew our guys.
Now, if you look at the training coaches, let's clear this out. I want to look at this particularly. Probably have too many. I don't need that guy there. Uh, so I've got two tactical, two of each type of goalkeeping. Uh, oh yeah, set pieces. And then see, I don't need these two. Unless they, yeah, that guy's better. Okay, same thing with these. Okay. <laughs> that guy's better than that guy. So basically now I need to find let's do that. I need to find um, I know from this that I probably need to find another tactical uh, possession training which is um, I, it's mental attribute and tactical And then I'll have to go through the other teams, the other 21s and the other 18s, to see if these guys are needed. If they are, I'll keep them. I'll, or I'll improve them and so, and so on. If they're not, then uh, then I'll get rid of them and save the money. But um, yeah, but I'll deal with this later. For now, I just wanted to show you all that happened last season. It was really good. Really, really, really good. If you look at the club info, uh, where is it? History. We got so many trophies now, so many different types of trophies, um, and yeah, let's do that. And um, and we're doing so well. At coming up, we just need to do to finish better. I want to finish higher this season. We should have the players to finish higher this season, even though if we look at the competitions, season preview it doesn't say we are, but. But we are, because look at that number, it's way smaller than it used to be, that the odds um, it used to be like 500 to 1 or 1000 to 1, and now we're only 25 to 1, uh, 250 to 1. So we should be able to finish higher. We have some good players on here, on the books, um, and um, yeah, I, I do have confidence that we should be able to aim higher. And I'll tell you about the episodes, uh, the... Um, the new players in the next episode, and we'll run through some more matches. I'm gonna go off and play the um, the community shield, I think, soon. So, yeah, I'll I'll um, I'll rest my voice now and carry on a little bit, and then I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching till the end, and I'll see you next one. Take care. Bye bye.